Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor and I've been an iOS user for all my life, but I tried Android for a week. And what did I think? Well, you're gonna find out over the course of this video, but first, let's start with the setup. For this test, titled hashtag the Android experience, you can search it on social media and see uh, all the different things I've been posting about it. Anyway, but uh, this test, I was using a Samsung Galaxy S4 running Android 4.4.2, I believe. Uh, don't hold me to it, I'll have to check in the settings and make an annotation. But yeah, basically I was testing out Android for an entire week. Now before you say, wait a second, the Galaxy S4 is an old phone, like that's years old. I do realize this, um, it's all I could get my hands on, shout out to Dwight K. I'm keeping his last name anonymous because I'm sure he doesn't want to be spammed with a bunch of requests of people asking to borrow his S4. But uh, anyway, so basically, uh, the reason why I was using this phone is it's what I could get my hands on for the test. and. I use an iPhone 4S as my daily driver, so I figured it was only fair to use an older Android phone. Now to be as fair as possible, I am basically trying the software and not paying attention much to the hardware, so if there was any lag on the phone, I won't hold that against the software experience. So anyway, digging in, let's talk about my feelings on each day, uh, what I was thinking about the test. Now on day one, the first two to three hours were hard. I was just trying to figure out, okay, how does this work? Like, what's going on? Uh, my biggest frustration was the keyboards and the push notification, which I got used to later on. But the push notifications were frustrating because they were different than iOS. They didn't appear on the lock screen, only Facebook did that. And uh, they didn't like pop down. And I know you can change that now, but I'm talking from the standpoint of day one before I was, I really knew anything about the OS. Uh, so they didn't really pop down like iOS, they were just a little tiny icon at the top. So that was frustrating for me. Also, well, however, on the flip side, I really did like the messenger notifications for Facebook chat heads. I know they're kind of a little bit odd, but I actually really liked those. I thought they were really cool, convenient, and fast, and just awesome. Uh, some other notes, I sort of missed my iPhone, but since I didn't have service for the test, it was an off-contract phone, I use text now, and I really liked how on the iPhone, or I mean I liked on Android how the notifications were smooth. When you got a call, it popped up a screen like any phone should saying, hey, you're getting a call. Whereas on the iPhone, it would be a little pop down, hey, you're getting a call. Tap, wait for the app to load, wait for it to load. And then if you're lucky and it loads fast enough, you can maybe answer the call. So I was uh, really enjoying that. I was kind of frustrated that my paid apps didn't carry over, but hey, I can't hold that against Android. All my paid apps are on iOS. It's a different platform. I get that. Um, music was a big worry because all my music is on iTunes. Guys, fear not if you're having this uh, issue with switching to Android because Google Play Music did an outstanding job. I installed it on my computer and it was able to clone my entire iTunes library to Google Music just like that. It didn't take any time at all. I was very impressed at this, so good job Google for that. Uh, NFC, very impressive. I have an NFC Bluetooth receiver. Obviously, I can't use it on my iPhone 4S. I was very pleased to see how quick this works. And Bluetooth worked like a charm, no skipping or lagging like on the iPhone 4S. Uh, so day two is the battery test. I started my day with 100% battery. By 8.41 p.m., the battery was at 14% and I decided it was time to plug it in. Uh, as far as that goes, <clears throat> I wasn't really impressed. Um, it was basically a typical smartphone battery, but hey, I can deal with that. So um, I started to feel more comfortable with the OS on day two. 
push notifications made a lot more sense now and at the end of the test I actually grew to like them more than the iOS style notifications. I think it's less distracting, the LED light is a nice touch, uh, a lot less distracting, you know. I felt more productive on Android, like the, the notifications didn't pop down and just tempt you to press them even when you were trying to focus on a task. So that was really great. Uh, day three and on, I felt comfortable and I actually grew to love Android a lot more than iOS. Now, what are some of the key things that I love about Android and this experience in particular that make iOS seem so bad? Uh, hardware standpoint is the iPhone 4S is way too small. I love the five inch screen of the S6. Now all you Apple fanboys out there, I know, I know Apple fixed the screen size with the iPhone 6 lineup, so don't chew me up too much for that. Uh, I know I can't even really compare the hardware fairly because they're not the same year, so that's why I'm trying to stay with the software. The camera, I have to say I like the iPhone camera better. I have to give Apple one thing. Uh, it just felt incomplete and kind of like it didn't work as well on the S4. Uh, but like I said, on the iPhone, or I mean like I said, I'm comparing mainly software. But yeah guys, I've been an Apple fan my whole life. Never even considered trying Android, but I would highly recommend that you guys try this because I was really surprised at how uh, clean and productive the OS was and it just really wasn't something I expected out of it. So in conclusion, I was definitely surprised at the results. So what phone is right for you? Should you go with the iPhone or with Android? Well, for me personally, I think I would buy the Android over the iPhone. Now this is something that's really hard to say because I've always had a soft spot for Apple and I still have a soft spot for Apple. So even though Android is clearly better on paper and in my tests, I would still have a hard time buying an Android device, but I think I could suck it up and do it for the benefits you get. But which phone is right for you? Well, I want to take some time to point out the consistency in iOS. Although I had a great time with Android, it just didn't feel at home iOS has done a great job with the graphics and everything down to the minute detail in their OS. And if you're looking for consistency and plain beauty, iOS may be better for you. Now there are launchers on Android to improve the user experience and the user interface, but if you want all around clean, go with iOS. If you want power, guts, and anything to be customizable, go with Android. So. Yeah guys, that was my experience, and if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you thought it was horrible, leave a thumbs down, but at least tell me why it was so bad. And what phone do you want me to test next? Do you like this format? I kind of was inspired by Austin Evans and his Moto E test. Uh, what OS do you think I should test next? Do you think I should do this with the Windows phone or the Amazon Fire phone perhaps? But hopefully you guys like this video, like I said, like it, dislike it, whatever you want to do, and subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll catch you guys later.